Topic one, to etch or not to etch. Uh, the tip for this section is to simplify your CAD model. So let's talk about that just a little bit and of course, look at an example. So we often create our CAD data to include every single detail that goes on the production drawing. And this isn't always what we need for analysis work. Uh, those small etched in features lead to a more complex model than is necessary for analysis. And let's face it, time is money and we all want more of both. Of course, we want more time to work on our projects and more money so we can go out and spend it on whatever we desire. Uh, so let's take a quick look at SOLIDWORKS Plastics and why this is important. So I'm gonna start with this really simple model here. Uh, you might've seen this in some of the CATI blogs I've written. It's just a very simple part. I already have my SOLIDWORKS Plastics uh, study set up. It's just for fill analysis. I have my resin properties and of course for filling into this cavity. And then I'll just click on injection location. We're gonna be filling in this lower corner here. Now, if I were gonna proceed through this as if I didn't have it solved, what I would do would be come into the create mesh. Uh, I would choose one of our meshing algorithms and click on create. And of course, something like this is, is very fast uh, because it's simple geometry. And then I could take a look at some of the information about the mesh details and just a little tidbit here, that maximum aspect ratio is really good. Um, so for a simple model like this, you know, quick to mesh, uh, and then I'll just pull in my fill results here, and it would be really quick to solve. In fact, this one takes under 50 seconds to solve. Uh, some of the things that I would look at, you know, obviously from a post-processing standpoint, I'd want to visualize what the melt front looks like as it's filling into the cavity. Um, but, you know, for this example, you know, why you want to simplify your CAD model, I'm going to focus on two things. The first is pressure at end of fill, uh, and then the maximum pressure you can see up here on my legend is just a little over five megapascals. Uh, the other thing that we would take a look at, and this is getting out of the results, it's actually looking at fill text. Uh, so this report is generated at the end of the analysis. Uh, this is what I'm most interested in, how long it took to solve this last iteration. So 40 seconds in this case, um, not that big of a deal. You know, hopefully most of us have 40 seconds to solve an analysis. Well, let's say I didn't use the fully featured, or I did use the fully featured portion of the design. So I'm going to switch to this configuration here. And we'll just take a look at a couple of things. Uh, first would be fill results. All right, so now this is solved with that text, that etched in features in place. Uh, the fill is gonna look very much the same. You know, we're still filling the majority of the cavity exactly the same way. We have these additional features that we need to fill. And really the key takeaway here is the injection pressure. All right, now for this particular model, it's about twice the injection pressure. Um, the way to think about this uh, is, I have to get the plastic melt front filled all the way up into these corners and vertices on that very tiny feature. So it will take uh, additional injection pressure to do that. Uh, let me uh, go back a couple of views here. Um, but in the big scheme of things, it really shouldn't take double. Now, again, this has to do with the model itself. Uh, anytime you're gonna do this, when you're adding those text features, those really small features to your model, it will increase your injection pressure. That's the key thing to note. Uh, but then the second thing would be, how long does it actually take to solve? So for this particular model, about 187, 188 seconds. So a little more than three times as long to solve this. Uh, and it's just a very simple model. All right, so uh, you know that's just one of the keys that we're gonna take a look at for SOLIDWORKS Plastics is uh, you know, a few takeaways. Solve one fully featured version of your model, absolutely. Um, but you don't want to solve every single version with all of those etched in text features of your part. Um, you know, those small text features, they will have a significant effect on the size of your mesh. And of course, the larger the mesh, the longer the solve time. Uh, this is one of those times when creating a configuration of your part file, uh, you do that, create a configuration where you've removed all those etched in text features and use that for your primary analysis work. That's going to allow you to solve your injection molding projects a lot faster as you're going through that repetitive process of trying to, to tweak the design. All right, so that's tip number one, to etch or not to etch.